Yo, what go on internet? Kyle Linux there. So today we are going to install i3wm on Zubuntu 18.04 and we're going to have XFCE and i3wm working in conjunction on Zubuntu 18.04. Not a difficult process in the slightest, but it is a bit tedious. Uh, I followed Feeble Nerd's guide on blogspot or blogger.com. Feeble Nerd has a full guide of getting on getting i3wm working on a Zubuntu setup or an XFCE setup, depending on what distro you're on. What I've chosen to do though is modify some of the things that Feeble Nerd provided because there are certain things that you might not need to do. When Feeble Nerd put that together, I think the latest version of Zubuntu at the time was 16.04. And things have changed up a little bit, so many of the steps are completely unnecessary. Follow Feeble Nerd's guide though if you are on Ubuntu 18.04 and you'd like to install the XFCE desktop on top of that, not a fresh copy of Zubuntu 18.04. This guide is for those who just installed Zubuntu straight away from the Zubuntu website. So let's get started and shouldn't take too, too long. I'm going to try and be quick, but still um, easily or easy to follow. All right, let's get started. First things first, this is a this is kind of an obvious one. We're going to open up a terminal and we are going to install i3wm. So sudo apt install i3-wm. And uh, you can add y on there if you want to. I just don't feel like responding to prompts. All right, i3 is installed. So that's out of the way. You can check that off of your checklist. i3 is installed. The next thing we need to do we need to disable some of the shortcuts that are used by XFCE by default. The way to do that is you're going to jump into your uh, window manager tweaks if you're on 18.04. So we're going to Alt F3 to jump to our application finder. We're going to look up uh, window manager. Now under, I can't remember if it's tweaks or just window manager. It might be just window manager. So we're going to go in there and here we go. Keyboard. All of these shortcuts. You can keep some of them if you like, but I, I do recommend disabling all of them, just clearing all of them because you can add these particular commands to your i3 config file and just use that going forward to, you know, close windows with shortcut commands or uh, open up particular applications with shortcut commands, right? We don't want to have conflicts since XFCE will also still be running at the same time. So we're just going to go down this entire list and I'm just going to hit clear. And that's it. So everything's gone. There are no shortcuts here. And we're going to close this. Awesome. That's done. So we shouldn't run into any issues there. The next thing we want to do, there is another place where keyboard shortcuts are. And that is under keyboard. So again, Alt F3. Let's look for keyboard. There shouldn't be too many application shortcuts in here that will be in conflict with what you have set up. But I think anything with super keys, you want to just get rid of them. Uh, because the super key is the default key uh, used for i3wm. And it's just going to be a pain um, if you keep hitting that and then, you know, pigeon pops up and you don't need pigeon open. So we're going to remove those. Um, super F1, I'm going to remove that as well. Again, might not be necessary for you, uh, especially if you're familiar with this. But just for uh, new user's sake, this might be a good idea. And then you can add these commands back yourself to your i3 config file. All right, so we should be good with that. I'm going to close that out. All right, so we got i3 installed. We've gotten rid of the shortcuts that may con basically conflict with uh, i3's config when we add shortcut commands in there. Uh, the next thing we want to do is install an option for backgrounds or background images, wallpaper, like what you're seeing here. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to be disabling XF desktop and also XFWM4. So we're not going to be having you know, the standard desktop settings that come with XFCE. We're going to have to have i3 do all that work or provide the programs that i3 can then use to provide those features that we enjoy, right? So you have two options here that I'm aware of. There's Nitrogen, that's Feeble Nerd's recommendation, and then there's Fe. That's what I actually use on my setup. I use Fe instead. We're just going to use Nitrogen for this setup just because 
I'm trying to cater to newer users um, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a noob myself in a sense. Uh, and many of us enjoy uh, GUIs. We like the graphical user interfaces as opposed to doing the command line. I love the command line, but there are some of those out there who are actually intimidated by it. So let's get uh, let's get Fed install. I mean, sorry, let's get Nitrogen installed. So we're gonna open up a terminal, sudo apt install Nitrogen, and it might already be installed. I think I might have uh, taken a couple steps ahead in this virtual machine. I did, okay. So nitrogen is already installed, but if you wanted to get it, sudo apt install nitrogen. So we already have it. Now with nitrogen installed, we're going to, we'll deal with that portion later where we add wallpaper, but we just want to make sure we have all the programs that we need getting ahead. I can show you what nitrogen looks like really fast. This is nitrogen. That's our wallpaper that we're going to use when the time comes. So I three is installed, keyboard shortcuts removed. We have our background manager. Now we can jump into disabling XF desktop and XFWM4 and getting i3 to start up when we reboot. Let's do it. First thing you want to do, or the next thing you want to do, is go to uh, open, hit your, hit your start menu. <laughs> For those who are familiar with it, this is the whisker menu on um, XFCE, but you know some people still refer to it as the start menu and you're going to run session and startup. Under session and startup, we're gonna first go over to session and you'll see XFWM4 and you'll also see XF desktop. Ignore everything else. Under XF desktop, change the restart style from immediately to never. And then under XFWM4, under the restart style, same deal, change from immediately to never. Once you're done doing that, you're gonna hit save session. Don't forget this part, it's important. Now, under application auto start, what we're gonna do is add i3w. I'm not have it here, I'm gonna remove it completely so you guys can see the steps. So we want to add the, I, the i3 window manager here. So we're gonna click add, and the name, i3wm, description, tiling window manager, and the command is just i3, that's it. Hit the okay button, Make sure it's checked. It's checked. So that means upon reboot, it's going to pop back up. All right. Uh, hop over to session. And just click save session one more time. I doubt that that's really going to make a difference. Once you've done it already, it should be fine. But I just like to be, you know, doubly safe just in case. Now, from here, all we're going to do is hit close. We could reboot right now and then jump right into I3. Uh, when you do that, you'll get a prompt that says, hey, we noticed you got i3 installed, but you haven't configured it yet. Would you like us to automatically generate a, con uh, generate a configuration for you? Uh, the answer would be yes, if you don't have a config option already available. I've downloaded a config, um, and I have my own personal config that I use on my main machine. Remember, this is a VM. This is a guest machine here. Um, on my host machine, I have my own dot .files that I made based on feeble nerds dot .file. That uh, the dot file from feeble nerd is what we'll be using uh, for these purposes here in this guest OS. Uh, but I will reboot and demonstrate uh, how i3 auto generates a config file for you. So let's restart. All right, so i3 first configuration. You have not configured i3 yet. Do you want me to generate a config at home, Kai Linux test, et cetera, et cetera? Yes, so we're gonna hit enter. Uh, please choose either. So we're gonna use the super key as the default modifier, also known as the Windows key, right? Because we use alt for a lot of other things. So let's just use super key. Hit enter again. And now we have a default config provided by i3. Again, you can just run with this and have this be the setup that you use and then go in and modify it your, on your own. I recommend checking that out and doing that and using the i3 uh, configs website. Like go to, uh, just search i3 WM and the, I don't know the website um, by default, like off the top of my head, but I'll post a link in the description. You can follow that. Go to their docs page and read through. This way you can learn how to configure i3 on your own. It is very helpful. 
Uh, if you're not interested in doing that, you just want a default setup with your Zubuntu setup and just be free to go, you can use Feeble Nerd's uh, i3 config or you can use mine. I'll provide links to both in the description below as well. So from here, we're going to test a few things out. So if I hit super the super key and enter, a terminal window pops up. Sweet. If I hit uh, super key and enter again, another terminal window pops up on the right side. If I want one to appear below, I think it's super V and then super enter. And there you go. And now one pops up below. So V is for vertical. So it's a vertical split. If you do super V, you'll split, you'll split your window vertically and add another one below. And then if you want to switch it back to the horizontal split, you do uh, super H and then you'll get another one on the side. And then to close windows, it's super shift Q. All right. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to install D menu and D menu allows you to access your applications uh, just by typing the command to launch the application. Remember, you still have the whisker menu down here. So if you want to find your apps that way, you can do it that way. On my normal setup, I have the XFCE panel, which is what I wanted because I want to be able to access my applets, my network applet and battery and uh, sound my um what call it? My pulse audio controls, everything right there, calendar and time, super fast, right? Um, but I actually disabled the whisker menu because I didn't have a need for it since I have D menu installed. So let's get D menu installed and see how that works. So we're gonna fire up a terminal again. Oh, whoops. I'm not using my shortcuts. So super enter and sudo apt install D menu. Again, it might already be installed because I jumped ahead here earlier to save time. Yeah, so it's already installed. So now we can close this. And if you hit super D, D menu pops up and you can start typing in command. So uh, Firefox for one, Firefox should boot up. And there you go. Now you're on Firefox, right? Now you can go on YouTube and you can check out some cool channels like Kai Linux cast, for example, <laughs> or even hex DSL or distro tube, etc. Um, I recommend all of these folks that I just typed in. Um, Chris Ware is another one. Yeah, you should check out all of these folks um, if you love Linux. And one of my favorites, Linux Gamecast. These guys are awesome as well. All right, so we got that working, right? D menu is working. So what else do we want? We want that background to come up, don't we? We mentioned that before. So we're gonna fire up D menu again and open up Nitrogen. Nitrogen gives us our option for our background. This is the only image that I saved uh, to the desktop. So this is the one we're gonna use. We're gonna click on that, uh, have it set to centered, full screen. And we are going to, let's check preferences. Yeah, that's fine. And just apply. And now when I close it, there's the background. There's your wallpaper. Um, you're not going to see much of this if you're using i3 because your windows are going to be taking up all the space, but it's nice to have. And now lastly, I believe this is the last thing. Uh, what we're going to do is copy over feeble nerds config to our current i3 config setup, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a terminal again, enter my config directory. And I have a file here already. I already have a feeble nerds file here. It's this one config, right? So I'm going to go into the I three directory and I'm going to remove the config file here. And then I'm going to move the config file from the uh, parent directory here. Now that one's here and now I'm going to reset I three. So what that means is we're going to hold down the mod shift, uh, hold down mod or a super key shift and then R and there you go. Now you might've noticed that the window title and the border around the window disappeared. Now I also added a, I added an additional line to feeble nerds config file that uh, was made available that gets rid of borders. And we can take a quick look at that. Um, this will be in my uh, dot file that I provide in the description box below, but feeble nerds dot file doesn't have this uh, particular function. 
So if we open up Vim config, let me scroll down to the bottom here. All right, so down here, this line here is what gets rid of the border and the window title. So for every window, border pixel should be zero. That's it. So this is the line you need. I'll also put this little line um, in the description box below in case you just want to add that line of feeble nerds config and you don't want to use mine. No problem there. Um, I'll also add the, oh no, I can leave this out. So if you do use feeble nerds config, you'll see this uh, execute no startup ID nitrogen restore. So that means every time you reboot your system, you log back in, um, nitrogen will launch and your background should stay the same. And that is really all there is to it. Um, as far as i3 is concerned and getting familiar with i3, I highly, 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 highly recommend that you go and check out the documentation. Watch some YouTube videos on it if you like. Um, if you are still terrified of messing with tiling window managers and you feel like they are for the super elite or something you know, crazy, <laughs> um, or maybe just for crazy people, right? <laughs> if you're thinking that uh, you are not ready for i3 or any tiling window managers yet, um, you can check out my XFCE lazy tiling window uh, option. And you can also check out the how to remove borders and windows from the lazy version of tiling, tiling window managers with the default XFCE setup. If not, um, and you want to give this a shot, which I do recommend, you should you should check it out. Just hop right in, follow this tutorial, check out Feeble Nerds Guide as well. It's relatively the same, um, except this one is, you know, few, this one has fewer steps than Feeble Nerds does. And that's really it. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> go forward, go forth and prosper. Um, with all that being said, this has been Kai Linux. And remember, no matter what destroy you use out of many, one Linux. Give thanks. Peace.